Hey, what's up? My name's Samuel Leeds. We're currently refurbishing a house in Liverpool. This is one of my investors' houses, which is going to be a buy, refurbish, refinance, HMO. I did a video about this a few weeks ago. It's going to be a nice, big, three-bed HMO. Right now, we've just been looking at the floor plans and deciding exactly where the en-suites are going to go, the toilets, how we can add maximum value once we finish the property. So I'll tell you some of the decisions that we're currently having to face. Let's go through the house. So, three-bed HMO. You've got the first room, front room right here, which is a nice, big front room. Now, it's really, really important in 2021 that as, 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 as HMO rooms, if you want to get maximum premium value, you need to have an ensuite to the bedroom. So this room doesn't necessarily need an ensuite, and the reason it doesn't necessarily need an ensuite is because we could allow this room to exclusively have access to this bathroom. Now this bathroom, as you can see, is absolutely needs this is being ripped out. So we could have that front bedroom having a bathroom here. Now the only problem with that is that the kitchen is on the small side, and the thing that really sells houses right now is having a nice big kitchen. So what I have recommended we do instead is we take this bathroom out, we knock these walls down, and we have a big open space kitchen with a utility area at the back. Now that means that there's no toilets, no bathrooms downstairs at all. It means you've got a really big open kitchen with a utility, you've got a big front room, but where are the bathrooms gonna be? So what I'm thinking is gonna be the best way to add value to this, and of course it's not my decision, it's ultimately the investor's decision, so I'm gonna put in this to him today, but I'm thinking is that we have three bathrooms upstairs. One on suite and two off suites. I'll show you what I mean. Let's go upstairs. I'll show you what an off suite is. So initially when this property was bought, I was thinking that we might be able to have an en suite in this room. However, it's become apparent, the builders have told me, that that's not really possible. And the reason is, is because the waste, like in other words, uh, the poo, has to go somewhere and it has to go out the back. And to have a waste pipe going from this room to the back means that the waste pipes are gonna have to go through the stairs, go through the lounge in the living room. It's really not ideal. So this room is going to have an off suite and the off suite is gonna be through here. So this bedroom, sorry guys. This bedroom, this, this is a small bedroom. We're gonna turn this, this is what I'm thinking. Have an off suite here, move the boiler downstairs, have an off suite corridor, second off suite for the room downstairs, and then have an en suite here for this room right here. So that way you'll have a really big kitchen, a nice utility space, two off suites, an en suite, three double bedrooms, and um, I think that's going to give the best value. So I'm excited. This has just been knocked down. How are you guys feeling about the house? These, these, these guys have been here all week, so they're um, working hard. Next phase is going to be electricians, yeah. plumbers. Almost. We've already got the carpet fitters, we've booked the carpet fitters, so this, this whole thing needs to really be finished by March time. So fingers crossed, by March time, the house is going to be completely ready to go. We're going to get tenants in it, we're going to refinance it, and it'll be a project done. Yeah.